here at Universal Bar tonight in Northbridge for the launch of the 25th Fairbridge Festival, which is held every year in Pinjarra and hosts an assortment of exciting music and cultural activities. Lucky Oceans, another one of the festival patrons. Lucky, can you please tell us about the Fairbridge Festival? Well, the Fairbridge Festival is a passion of mine because I'm one of the patrons. But I think it works great because it all happens in a little village, in this Fairbridge village, and it's on a very human scale. It's like you visit this little town for a day, but it's a town full of great music. And it's not any music that you might have heard of but they're so good at sourcing unknown artists that are just on the way up that, that it works great. Uh, Tin Pan Orange, who are now a very popular band, where it first broke through at a Fairbridge Festival about five years ago. So it's a bit of folk music, uh, just a place to explore, and reasonable ticket prices, or you can go camping there too. It's a great place for kids, there are kids who have been going there since they're three years old, who are now 28 years old and have gone there every year. So it's a great social experience. It's a very special thing that we have right here in Western Australia. And how did you get involved with the festival? So I've attended the festival for 24 of the 25 years it's been running, ever since I was four years old with my mum and dad. And my mum is now the general manager of the festival. Um, so I've been heavily involved for a really long time, first as a volunteer and then, um, and then I came on board as the children's program director about seven or eight years ago now. So we have a kids performance team, we run um, kids art and craft workshops where the kids get to make stuff to take home, we do cooking classes, kids yoga, um, all sorts of activities over the whole weekend while mum and dad are off having fun. What I call the beating heart of Fairbridge is actually a, a kids festival and um, everything sort of grows and has grown around that. Um, it's world music, uh, folk and roots music, so we, um, there's a point of difference there. Um, we don't necessarily program big headliners and, and the things that are the most populous things of the day. We look around for the things that are, um, that are unknown or emerging, um, particularly in West Australia. Um, with, you know, we've, our sites are uh, keenly set on folk world and roots music artists that are emerging in the Perth scene. Probably the most unexpected bit about it is the, the artists that we bring here. People really don't know um, the artists that, that we bring, but over a 25 year history, uh, they've come to trust what it is that we program. So people come on, a, on an adventure. Um, they come exploring, they come seeking for the, for the new and the interesting. We've been a media partner with Fairbridge for I can't remember how many years now. Not the 25 years, wish we were, but we haven't been. And we'll be there again for the 25th year with our Saturday breakfast program. Tracy Vaux will be there from 6 o'clock. Set your alarm. And I know that the Fairbridge audience love to come down and see the breakfast program. Nothing else is happening at that time. And there are a lot of early risers at Fairbridge. And Tracy will be there from 6 till 10. There's a sausage sizzle and we'll have gardening. You want to be there. This is my first year, they got me there as their uh, token young person. Uh, they didn't realise I'm a 60 year old inside, so jokes on them. Um, but it's been a lot of fun, it's, it's a lot of responsibility, so uh, I've been kind of learning the ropes as I go. But I just really like getting there and there's a bar called Ruby's and you, get, you just sit in the bar and you hear the first few acts of the festival and you read the program and you decide what you're going to see and you talk to people. And I think that's my favourite, is that afternoon where I finally get to know what acts are performing. Uh, and can you tell us more about being a patron for the festival? Yeah, well, um, I'm, I'm lucky enough to be a patron, which does make me sound old. Um, but I guess my role, all the patrons have a different role. Um, and I think I was brought on board to, um, to promote the festival and especially to younger people. And Fairbridge is one of the, from my experience of festivals around the, the country, it's one of the few festivals that um, uh, there's a, a growing young demographic. And so we're out there kind of spruiking the festival. And some of these kids we've seen as small kids are coming up and now playing at the festival. Um, so it's got that real young energy and uh, hopefully we're contributing to that. 
What would you like to say to people that have never been to the festival before? Well this year is the best year for you guys to be coming uh, because it's our 25th anniversary. So it's actually a four day festival. So the ticket prices are the same as they'd normally be but we're giving you an extra day. It's kind of like our way of saying thank you for being there for the last 25 years. So this year is, is the year to get the, the bang for your buck. We're also uh, opening a new bar which is really exciting and we've got some amazing acts that have been to the festival before and some that haven't to sort of celebrate this, this milestone for us which is a lot of fun. So I think this year will be the year to try it out, see if you like it and uh, yeah just get a bit messy with us. I love that it's so unique, there's nothing like it, it's a completely unique camping experience um, and an event um, where you stay on site in this beautiful rural bush setting for the entirety of the weekend and everything you need is right there. I was one of these people that thought you know uh, festivals were gum nut earrings and, and, and weird dancing and that's there but um, it kind of it changed my life, I'm sure it'll change yours, come and check it out. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Well, I know I'm excited to see the Fairbridge Festival this year. Elise Van Aken for Undercurrents.